Hello class, hope you are studying well. So let's start on with our new topic that is degree of price elasticity of demand. See, there are five degrees to the price elasticity of demand which is perfectly elastic demand number one. Right? So let's plot this on the graph and understand how it does this work. Let's take the initial price at P. And your quantity was, let's say, Q1. Your price of the commodity did not change, right? But your quantity changed, maybe due to income or due to your taste and preferences or due to the price of related goods, the quantity have increased with no change in the price of a commodity. I told you the various factors other than that effect. If your income increases, you would increase the quantity demanded. So these can be the possible outcomes where your price remains constant and your quantity demanded increases. So see, there is no change in your price, but there is a huge change in your quantity demanded. So at this point of time, your elasticity of demand is equal to infinity if we see this from a formula percentage change in quantity demanded to the percentage change in price right your quantity demanded have changed right let's say it has uh, become 30 but the change in price is zero. There is no change in price. So percentage change in price would be zero. So anything upon zero gives you infinity. So here is your elasticity of demand that is infinity. The second point which we are understanding here is perfectly inelastic demand. See again draw graph. Elastic means your perfectly elastic means your infinity inelastic means zero and elasticity and inelasticity means elasticity is greater than one and inelastic you call the demand inelastic if that is less than one if your elasticity of demand is less than one you call it as inelastic demand what is perfectly inelastic demand which is equal to zero what can be the case in this? See, your initial price, let's say, was P, and you demanded quantity at Q. Right? There was change in the price, let's say, P1. Your quantity demanded does not change. Let's say, P2 your quantity demanded does not change see the price of your milk if i talk about your mother dairy uh, milk packets if i talk about your vita verka milk packets or xyz milk packets they started if your you know full cream packet is of rupees 25 it has become to rupees 26 or 27 the demand won't change because that is your extremely necessity and necessary goods so at this point of time, your demand does not change. It, it remains the same. Right? So, this is your elasticity of demand is zero. Let's see how percentage change in quantity demanded. One percentage change in price. Right? Percentage change in quantity demanded is zero. Your per, anything you can take percentage change in price is let's say 12. So zero divided by anything gives you zero. So your elasticity of demand is zero. 
let's understand the unitary elastic demand third uh, third degree is unitary elastic demand again let's make a graph price see your initial price was p and your quantity demanded was let's say q your price has increased from p to p1 if your price increases your quantity demanded has reduced from q to q2 and this is your demand curve the percentage change in quantity demanded to the percentage change in price when your percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to your percentage change in price then it is a unitary elastic see if the percentage change in quantity demanded is let's say 3 your percentage change in price is also 3 it gives you 1 so elasticity of demand is 1 that is unitary elastic demand let's understand greater than unitary elastic again let's draw graph let's see your initial price was and your quantity was q your price has decreased from p to p1 let's say your quantity demanded have increased let's say to q1 and this is your demand curve see when your percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than your percentage change in price you get greater than unitary elastic let's say your percentage change in quantity demanded comes out to be 30 your percentage change in price uh, let's say 10 so your elasticity of demand is 3 so it is greater than 1 so this is how it comes to greater than unitary elastic So the area of this rectangle is greater than the area of this rectangle your pq so this is your greater than unitary elastic let's understand the fifth and the last degree that is less than unitary elastic what is less than unitary elastic see when your change in price let's say your initial price is p your quantity is let's say q okay now your new price is let's say p1 and your quantity has reduced to let's say q2 now see understand there is greater change in the price but there is very little change in your quantity so when there is huge change in the price and there is very less change in your quantity this is less than unitary elastic again we understand by this formula change in quantity demanded divided by change in price let's say your quantity demanded changes only 10 but your price changes around 30 so it will come out to be 0.333 something right so your elasticity of demand is less than 1 so this is your less than unitary elastic demand hope you completely understood the degree of elasticity of demand do download our app scholars learning and keep enjoying the learning experience